Does it say how many people are on? I just gotta look. Okay, well, we're just waiting for people to join here. So I will post this after. Um, so you'll be able to watch it all. But basically, we're just having a few drinks at the saloon here. I got my uh, saloon gear on, ready to go. Um, somebody liked the video already, but nobody... Or, oh, we got one person one on. Person. Who's on? Put a comment down if you're on. We're just having supper here. Um, this is Garrett, by the way. Um, I sort of brought him on to have an introduction. Oh, 11 people now. Oh, God. 12. <laughs> we're getting, getting higher. Um, yeah, we're just having supper in front of the saloon here. Um, this is Garrett, by the way, my employee. So Comments. I saw, oh, my mom's on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she's on her way to the lake right now, I bet you. Um, oh, people are saying hi to you. Hi, guys. Nice <laughs> to meet you. My name's Garrett. So, yeah, um, Garrett, I met him, started... We worked at Agora together back in those days. <laughs> um, but yeah, you you would have worked with us there how long? From when did you start? May? Like two months, About three months. About two or three months. Started in May and then we all quit on the same day and I hired him to work with me. So that's sort of how we met, I guess. Um, and you're from Looseland, where, where we started there. So, and I'm from Carrobert. Towns are 15 minutes apart or whatever. But, yeah. <clears throat> so, that's sort of an introduction to Garrett. Um, another thing that I have for this live is some fan mail. <clears throat> Just gotta... <clears throat> Up after eating here, <clears throat> just got sent fifteen dollars. Oh, welcome to. Oh, thank you for that super chat. But so, I guess we'll start to start with the fan mail. I guess I'll do it in order of when I received it. I think this was first. So, this one is from Neil in Winnipeg. Um, Neil, if you're watching, thank you very much. Um, this is a popular mechanics magazine from 1948, January 48. And I looked through it. There's some pretty cool stuff in here. It's interesting to see the prices of the stuff back in the day. Um, I was sort of flipping through the tool section here. Um, where was that? I think it was sort of towards the end. Oh yeah, here's sort of the tool section. Um, just looking in here, like the price of stuff, it just seems dirt cheap, but I'm sure back then, you know, inflation, it would even out, but... Yeah, what is this? Scroll saw for 30 bucks. <laughs> a, uh, oh, a power drill back in 1948. That was probably pretty new and fancy. $19. Fucking <laughs> That's old. Yeah, there's some really cool stuff to look at in here. But anyways, yeah, thank you, Neil, for that. He also sent a note that says, Hi, Austin, I'm sending you an old magazine that I hope you'll find interesting. I watch and enjoy your videos. Best regards, Neil. So, yeah, thank you for that. And now the next um, piece of fan mail here, if I can get it open... <laughs> have to find the uh, note that goes along with this before
before I get too far into it. Okay, yeah, I think this is the one here. Okay, so this here, it's an air freshener in the shape of a record player. Let's see. Okay, now I see how it works. It clips onto your vent. It looks like a record player and then it's got that vent clip on it. And I believe this was sent probably because of my video, uh, my truck detailing video where I complained about uh, conventional air fresheners and how they dangle in your windshield. So anyways, um, the note says, Austin, here is a new air freshener for your truck. I couldn't send my other choices to you, sorry. Um, probably because Amazon, you know, out here in Saskatchewan, a lot of stuff can't ship to my location. It didn't say the fragrance, just so you can reuse, just you can reuse with your own oils. Hope it smells okay from Chris. So thank you, Chris. Um, I'll have to try this out. This looks pretty cool. Um, the needle even moves. It which is. is That's for me. Oh, Chris is on here. Hi, Chris. Yeah, this, and it even spins too. Oh, it's got like a fan behind it. So it'll spin if you have the air blowing. That's pretty cool. And then what sense does it have? doesn't really say mustache party <laughs> I don't really know I don't think that's the scent but I'll see if I can show you guys here oh, it fell off the table um, yeah it comes with like little record shaped little discs and then it's got that one too so yeah that's pretty cool and then the next piece up that I got, this is a steering wheel cover. I think this was from Chris as well. Let's see if I can find the note. I have all the notes here. Okay, yeah, here we go. So, Austin, some more fan mail. I thought you might like to keep the steering wheel as clean as you can. I hope you like it and it fits. I did my best to find the right size for your truck from Chris as well. So let's open this up. This actually, like the color scheme sort of matches the interior of my truck, which is nice. And I'm sure it'll fit. I think it said on here that it was for a super duty. I don't know where all those other notes went. Oh yeah, fits F-150, 250, and 350. So it should fit my truck. Yeah. But yeah, the steering wheel in that truck was pretty bad, um, pretty worn out. So this should be something a little nicer. It's all taped. You struggling? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just in like 18 different layers of packaging here. <laughs> oh yeah, it feels pretty nice too. Nice um, leather. Not all worn out. Oh yeah, and it's got like a nice rubber lining, so it should be fairly durable. Um, I'll have to try this out. It's heavy. But, <laughs> yeah, it's got some weight pretty though. heavy duty. Seems like the right size. That sort of seems like the... Did you, what is that? Did you know that the... French on your jacket is meant to deflect water. Oh, I did not know that. <laughs> Where are the rest of the comments here? I probably missed. We missed about 30. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure. Oh. Comments. Live chat. Live chat? Yeah. Okay, now I can go back through them. Oh, my dad sent me seven dollars. <laughs> nice. Your saloon looks great. Where's my seven dollars? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll get this uh, 
stuff out of my way here and I'll try and scroll through the comments and there I am. Okay, I'll go back to the comments and see if I can answer some of your questions. Main is 25, plus 25 right now. What is it here? It was really cool. Plus it's plus, plus three right now, it says on my watch. Oh. 1948, that's older than my Fargo, says Jim. <laughs> what year is your Fargo, by the way? Hi, Garrett. I live in Cornwall, England. My ex-husband and relatives live in Saskatchewan. Nice your to meet you. Your saloon looks great. Thank you. Now I want a hot dog. Yeah, Garrett made uh, hot dogs... Sa sausage. sausage hot dogs for us tonight. That's pretty good. <laughs> they are. Yeah, I, I didn't know that the fringe was for rainwater. I thought to deflect bugs. Oh, Joshua is on here. Hey, Josh. Balling out of control with that outfit. <laughs> Oh, 1949 is the Fargo. Okay. So, yeah. But, yeah, basically, we're at the lake right now. Um, we're just sort of filming our next little series here. We're building a golf cart garage. So, I don't know when I'm going to put those videos out. Maybe start Monday. I usually like to film them like a week in advance just to give me time to edit them and stuff. Um, that's what I did with the gazebo. So, yeah. <clears throat> but, um, it's going along pretty good. We just started on the siding today and didn't quite get to the roof yet just because ran out of underlay <laughs> but my dad's bringing me more up so i have all that stuff sort of stockpiled you know partial rolls and whatnot the gazebo was a great series oh yeah thank you that that was, that was a fun project i enjoyed that <laughs> yeah yeah that gets yeah the good. the shed we're building like it's fairly it's, simple yeah right. it's just a conventional build there's nothing really creative about it just you know standard building practices it's 9 30 and you're making me hungry <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i haven't really eaten since lunchtime so i've been working all day <laughs> but somebody yeah. said hey austin chelsea hey chelsea um but yeah um the saloon it's all finished on the, was the Prairie Dunker helping on the gazebo? No. Um, I'm Prairie Dunker. Oh yeah, that, that's, a, that's another question I've been getting a bit is, um, what happened to my brother? Um, he moved off to Edmonton to take barber school. And more sausage. The whole Prairie Dunker channel, that just wasn't really his thing anymore. He sort of wants to... Yeah, I'd take some more sausage. Hot dogs or sausage sausage? Probably just regular sausage. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, he sort of just wanted to refocus his, um, you know, channel away from Prairie Dunker. So he just got rid of that. And probably, he says eventually he'll start up YouTube again. But his focus now is sort of barbering. So... That's sort of what he's doing. Um, but anyways, back Here. to the... Oh, <laughs> another piece. Nice. <clears throat> um, back to the saloon anyways. Um, exterior is all done. Um, I just have to find some time to start working on the interior. And basically what needs to be done in there yet is a ladder built up to the top. As Garrett would know, <laughs> he's staying in there this week. So we just have a step ladder for now. 
But yeah, I need to build some sort of a permanent ladder as well a bar, some sort of a bar. And then I sort of want to do shelving like around the top at about the height of the stained glass there, like a perimeter shelf and sort of put all my old beer bottles and stuff and line the thing. Cause I think that would look pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so probably sometime this summer, I'll sort of start back on the saloon series and do some interior stuff. I can't even read the comments. You know, with that one, so. My mm -hmm. live chat's on. Yeah, I don't really know. Oh, oh there, there they is. are. Come the launch me on and tell him where. Yeah. Oh, so glad I caught you live. I've been watching all of your videos. Hi, Garrett. Thank you, Chelsea, for the super chat. <laughs> nice to meet you, Chelsea. I can't speak. <laughs> <laughs> Too much food. <laughs> it may be easier to see the comp. Oh, yeah, I guess you could do that. Go on your phone and moderate. That's the smallest, smallest mm -hmm. thing is <laughs> Yeah, then you... <laughs> What's my phone at? 29, it'll be good. Yeah, I'm not really used to doing the live streams. I don't live stream yet, <laughs> man. I've oh. only done, like, a few of them, so... I'm not really too used to doing this. But, yeah, you could moderate on your yes. phone. And it's a great idea. That would be a lot easier. It's a great idea. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you just turn your volume down, then it won't yeah. go too yeah. bad. <clears throat> okay, we're good to go. Okay. So, yeah, does anybody have any other questions about the saloon or the gazebo or anything like that? I've watched a bunch. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I guess we can see all the comments right there. Yeah. Yeah, so if anybody has any questions they want me to answer. Or me. Is it still cold up there? Yes, it's very cold. It was about plus 30 Celsius. Where did Garrett work before? <laughs> well, we <laughs> we both worked at Agora. like. Well, I'll, I'll tell him my life story, I guess. Okay. So when I was about 16, I worked for the town of Luceland, just mowing grass, etc. I wasn't getting paid as much as I should have been, so I moved on to what's Agora Ag 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 Construction, and I worked with Colin Lanamober, good guy. And then we decided to quit, and now I'm with Austin. He's a great boss, treats me right. Awesome guy. So yeah, that's basically, I guess I could sort of, I don't know if I've you ever. You watch my phone then. I, I don't know if I've, oh, okay, I'll, just before I get on to my sort of life story here, I'll answer some questions. Um, you are one of the busiest people I've ever encountered. <laughs> we need to have this. You're about, what, six hours or more from Edmonton? Only five, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, we're about, Crabbert's about four, yeah, it's four like hours that. from Edmonton. Four and four a little enough. bit, maybe. <clears throat> what was the cost for materials to build the gazebo? Well, to do a quick mental calculation, I don't have everything off the top of my head, but to sort of put it into perspective, we use $600 worth of stain on that gazebo. <laughs> so if I had to add everything up, I think the total cost of materials for that project would be about $7,000. Would have been, that would be a good ballpark number. Um, 
But you got to remember, wood is not cheap right now. Yeah. Like. Yeah, that's like wood. Like, in two years ago, the materials for that probably would have been four thousand dollars. So it's quite a bit higher. I know you said you aren't building a house on your land. Do you intend to buy land and build a house of your own? Yes, eventually. Yeah. Oh, uh, I'm probably good for now. Um, eventually, yes, I would like to buy like a rural property, like buy a quarter section of land or whatever out in the country somewhere and have sort of an acreage and yeah, eventually build a house of my own. I'd love an acreage, but I'm broke. <laughs> but yeah that piece of land i have right now i've already outgrown that like if i buy a skid steer or something or another trailer like that place is full so <clears throat> um miss the gazebo build how far along are you well when did we finish up the gazebo about a week ago or something mm -hmm. Well, Last we're technically Friday. not finished yet. I still have to finish the hip cap on that top part. What? It's a nine part series, yeah. <clears throat> 85 here in Michigan today. 85. Going to be into the 90s this week. Oh, wow. I wish. Yeah, it was about, it would have been 85 here on Tuesday, was that? We were on the beach. We were out on the floaty island. Yeah, that is expensive. Oh, my dad has a question. What is it? <laughs> I'll answer it. I, I don't know. He just says, I have a question. <laughs> I'll answer it. <laughs> oh, Raw, raw, Bic you thank, thank you for your super chat there. What's a super chat? That's where they send you money. Okay. On the. So it's like e transfer. Etc., yeah, but it's sort on of. YouTube. Lumber prices are going to be coming down in the states. Yeah, yeah, I heard that lumber futures are down like for the past eight days now. It's like it. 1200 bucks or something per thousand board feet. I don't get it. <laughs> like, so they're that, not that's, short on it. They're not no, short on it. Well, like, but the thing is, like, once I saw that the lumber prices were coming down, I was kind of like, oh, maybe that was a bad idea that I bought lumber in advance for some of these jobs. But the other problem was availability. Like, it's still not available. Like, right. There's a lot of places... Yeah, so like, if I... Like, I don't understand how there's a shortage at, like, Home Depot or Home Hardware, right? But, mm -hmm. like, they don't have any, but you go to other places, or, like, the sawmills, and they've got it all, but it's mm -hmm. just sitting there. Yeah, like, a lot of people on here <clears throat> who live, you know, like, in forestry areas... Yeah. ...were saying that, you know, the sawmills have been going steady throughout the whole pandemic. Yeah. A few bucks more for food while you're up at the lake. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> what is your Oh, my dad like? says, when are you going to finish the saloon? <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. This weekend? Maybe, maybe? this weekend. See well, you. we our goal for this weekend was to get a ladder built. What's all going to get done in it? Well, the ladder, then a bar, um, some shelving. We should try and get a bar up for this weekend, though. Definitely. <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> yeah. Will you make another nature adventure video? Um, yeah eventually i'd like to like what do you mean just like exploring outdoors or you could have like another taped at that trail you went on oh yeah that yeah that cool. would have been fun <clears throat> there isn't a shortage well 
Yeah, like there definitely isn't a shortage in production, but when it comes to the consumption end, like I that might just be our area though, but I think they're like, just doing it so they get more money. Yeah. Like, like when I go to the co-op or Home Depot, like they're sold out of a lot of stuff. Like when I bought those fence boards and deck boards, like I was taking like pretty much the last of what they had. It was cold in Kentucky until Wednesday. Had to warm up yeah, in the it, next it, week. It actually snowed back in Carrobert today. And loose line. But I that's a your, good thing. I love your accent. My favorite is when you say garage. How do you say garage? Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> garage? Garage? I don't is that normal? Like I don't know. <laughs> Oh, my dad sent me twenty one dollars. Sent you twenty seven bucks already. <laughs> oh, raw Robicue, Robicue. How do you say your name? Is that like, am I saying it right? I like the grain elevator exploration. That was very cool. We got. Oh, well, I got wait, a good one. I wait, got another one. Like we 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 won't give away what our video is for tomorrow, but I, I sort of gave away elevator. a clue. Have you been to the Hearts Hill? Yeah. I haven't been there yet. That one's fun. I've oh, done some, we should do Hearts Hill. I've elevator. done some crazy things. <laughs> yeah, I, I did superb and fusilier elevators. Like, I've, I've driven by Hearts Hill. I've rode down the ropes. Just call me Rob. Okay, that makes it easy. But yeah, grain elevator exploration. I guess we could do Hearts Hill. <laughs> you know how cool that would be to explore all over Saskatchewan and go explore old grain elevators? Mm-hmm. Well, there is a guy that I follow on Facebook, I think. That's sort of what he does. Tim Lockhart, I think his name is. <clears throat> Are you going to be helping Alex with the new building? Probably not. I haven't been asked by him yet. So, um, I mean, Edmonton is a ways out of the way for me. So That'd be fun. <laughs> Like, I mean, if he wanted any stained glass windows or anything, I'd make him those, but it would just sort of be, like, I mean, I'd love to, but just sort of out of the way for me. And he's got, like, you know, Hans and Josh and Jakoda and all those guys to help him, so... <clears throat> Timber in Australia is very expensive, too. Yeah, I imagine it's all over the place, not just in North America. <clears throat> I live in South Carolina, but originally from Boston, so I pronounce garage way different. <laughs> garage? <laughs> Yes, you were good at showing places in Canada some of us haven't traveled to. Yeah, I know a lot of my earlier videos were sort of like more exploration and stuff like that, but now that I've got my own business, like, I can film, you know, all of my projects, so. Need anything from North Battleford? <laughs> you, Is you that want, your dad? Yeah. You want anything? I want Timbits. Timbits? I don't know. Maybe Tim Hortons? <laughs> like an ice cap. Ice cap? That would be good. <laughs> I want Timbits. I'll pay him if he's there. Okay. I guess Timbits and ice caps. <clears throat> would be cool to see the whole Potter's host team together again. Yeah, that would be fun. To a reunion sometime. Oh, she's cold out. <laughs> it is getting cold. That's why I have my hands in my <laughs> pocket. Yeah, it's plus three right now with a little bit of wind. There's no wind, though. If there was a wind, I'd be hiding right now. <laughs> I get a bit of a breeze every once in a while. <clears throat> the saloon is gorgeous. <clears throat> I agree. That saloon is it's something else. Yeah. It's definitely not something you see every day, that's for sure.
build it in my backyard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Party every weekend. You were 3,600 kilometers away. <laughs> from where? Stephanie, where are you from? 3,600 kilometers from where? South, probably. Yeah, like somewhere South in the Dakota, U.S., maybe? I bet you. South Dakota or New Brace? Oh, I bet you it would be further than that. <clears throat> like, yeah, I guess. Are you glad to be working for yourself? Yes. Yeah, that's definitely <laughs> way better. Um, just the fact that, you know, you don't have to wake up in the morning if you don't want to. <laughs> um, <laughs> not that I ever really <laughs> have that problem, but um, if you don't, you know, what am I trying to say? Like, you know, if you think it's too cold out to work or whatever, you don't have to. Like, you don't have anybody telling you what to do. You don't get a phone call every hour on yes! the hour. <laughs> what? I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I watched too much NHL and my Penguins won. Oh, you're hockey. Yeah. <laughs> they won. They barely won. I go back to YouTube. I'm just <laughs> excited. Sorry, I gotta press play. I gotta fast forward it. Too. Oh. Eventually. But yeah, you know, working on my own, I can take holidays whenever I want. You know, I make more money. Um, I can buy nicer tools and invest in my business with the money that I make. And yeah, I don't know. I just, it still seems like I get to do, you know, as interesting and challenging projects, but just on my own schedule. This person's asking, I'm still wondering why that beautiful gazebo is tucked away in the corner of the Earth Ox planet. Oh, yeah. I can. <laughs> Okay, I'll finish eating my sausage. So the position of the yard, there was really nowhere to put the gazebo besides over the fire pit, but they didn't want that. So we had to put it in the corner, but it still looks good. It'd be better over the or over the fire pit to mm -hmm. me, but. But uh, yeah, I mean, that corner of the yard, it was sort of a wasted space. Like they had that hedge there and it was just like a 12 by 12 or whatever little chunk of yard that yeah, it was wasn't really being used for anything else. They would have had to cut the grass in there and stuff. So just, I don't know, I, I think that's a good spot like to make use out of that little square. Yeah, I like this Chelsea person. I won't answer that yet. <laughs> Only in Saskatchewan. Do we drink ice caps when it's plus three? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's so true. Pretty much. <clears throat> but <clears throat> uh, Stephanie's from Maine. I thought Sask was closer. Top right corner by N or, uh, New Brunswick. I know where Maine oh, is. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd like to go there. They've got a lot of wildlife and cool stuff. But... Yeah. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to binge watching or binging on your recent projects this weekend. Chelsea. Garrett, the Penguins are our team. They definitely are. <laughs> uh, Paula says, breezy and beautiful in Tampa. Come on down. That would be so sweet. Dan Tischler, go Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't mind Toronto. Uh, this person said, sure. <laughs> you talk. <laughs> Okay, I guess I'll get going on my... I don't think I've ever told my career oh, story before. <laughs> I'll go back. I sort of got distracted. But basically, <laughs> what I... I started working, like, my first, you know, real job other than cutting grass and stuff like that was for a construction company... Dukeshire Builders, they're out of Unity, and they were building the credit union in Carrobert. That was back in 2014, 15, or no, maybe even earlier. 
I'd have been like 15 or 16 years old when I started doing that. And I worked for them for, oh, probably like a full year, just sort of after schools and stuff like that. And, you know, like I didn't really have any real responsibilities or anything, but I just sort of watched and learned what they did and, you know, learned quite a bit from that job, actually. That was a pretty good learning experience. And then what was the next? Oh, yeah, that would have been, it would have been for some of the hailstorm contractors. So Crobert had a bad hailstorm in 2015. And, you know, every house in town, all the siding and windows were smashed and stuff like that. So every single house essentially had an insurance claim. And there was this guy by the name of Jeff that I started working for. He was really good. I worked for him the whole summer after I graduated and part of the fall. Um, learned a lot from him. And then I sort of moved on kind of back and forth between these other leftover hailstorm guys who were finishing some stuff up. And then I didn't really have anything after that. And then the spring, the next spring, that would have been when I started, or I guess summer it would have been, started working for Colin at Agora there. And worked for him for three years, I guess. A little over three years. And then started on my own. So that's basically my story of my life story of careers. <clears throat> what other comments do we got here? Man, this beautiful and just love to come up here. Holy man, it's <laughs> So glad to see her doing well after truck and tool bumps in the road dirty thieves can't keep a good man down <laughs> yeah that was <laughs> that was definitely like <clears throat> a a big hindrance um you know there's still still things i haven't replaced since then which you know i'm trying to once i get paid after some of these jobs i'll probably sort of replace the rest of the tools that I had stolen but you know like a cordless framing nailer and that stuff like it's it certainly annoying mm -mm. <clears throat> I do need one. yeah it's kind of chilly it's here. definitely getting cold <clears throat> hi Garrett I presume yeah this is Garrett hello Michael <clears throat> nice to meet you this video will be posted after so you can go watch it. I did the introduce them. <laughs> but I do need a blanket. It's pretty <laughs> chilly out here. Yeah, it is getting cold. So I guess it's eight o'clock now. I don't know if Alex or Josh are doing live streams tonight, but I want my timbits. If they are, I should maybe get out of their way. So I guess we should sign off now. But Garrett, anyways Garrett um, needs a fire pit <laughs> yeah well that'll be our next stop is over in the screen room there 100 the percent enclosed gazebo to sit by the propane <clears throat> fire because there's a fire ban on here for unfortunately but anyways thank you guys for watching um sorry i haven't been getting to the comments on the gazebo build yet i've just been pretty busy here lately but I'll try and answer your guys' comments on that as soon as I can. But yeah, thanks for watching and we will Oh, okay, go ahead. <clears throat> you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well stay tuned for the video tomorrow. That should be a fun one. That was a lot of fun to film that. So <laughs> tomorrow at eight that'll be posted. And yeah. Nice meeting you all, meeting you all. I'm sure you guys will see me in some more videos coming up. Thank you. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll uh, see you guys in the new series Can't starting miss. probably Monday or so, if I can figure out how to shut this off. 
end. Hmm. I have no idea. Anybody know how to stop I got the it. live stream? <laughs> there, oh, there's the X right there. 